my name is Alyssa Richardson and I'm an assistant professor of journalism here in Annenberg. I study how marginalized communities use mobile and social media to create their own news networks. I got started because I was a mobile journalism instructor. It's really a lab that I created in 2010. And what we did was use iPhones and iPads for the first time to create news. The program became so popular that we were invited to Africa to kind of replicate it for US embassies. And from there, I really realized how the barrier of entry lowers when you use a mobile device to do news. But in 2014 is really when things began to take a turn in terms of me seeing that mobile journalism had different kind of superpowers. And so I started to do a lot of research in terms of interviewing the citizen journalists and seeing what tools they like best. I think a watershed moment that everyone will remember is July of 2016, and that's the first time we saw a citizen journalist, Diamond Reynolds, use Facebook Live to report uh, in the moment the death of Philando Castile. And it was an incident where I, I realized that not only is mobile journalism uh, essential to telling one story, but also live streaming specifically were going to become very, very important in terms of how citizen journalists started to shine a light on problems with police brutality. So in July of 2016, I shifted my research focus into studying how African Americans have been using journalism as a tool to get a lot of social justice agendas accomplished throughout the, the years. And so I'm really excited that the dissertation that I wrote um, as a doctoral student is now going to be a book, Bearing Witness While Black, African Americans, Smartphones, and the New Protest Journalism. It situates mobile journalism, specifically black witnessing, on a historic continuum of advocacy journalism. It all begins with slave narratives that began in the 1700s, and then we can follow that thread in the 1900s, shining a light on lynching and Jim Crow laws. They were the forerunners to who we see today, and those are the black smartphone journalists. I call them black witnesses. One of the things I am aiming to accomplish with this book is to share where are the storytelling intersections where professional journalists and citizen journalists can work together to create a complex, nuanced, yet complete story.